to they? I'm fine, teacher. Did you already eat a breakfast? Yes, teacher. Very good. Before we start our class, let us pray first. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classroom with peace. Fill our lesson with fun. Fill our friendship with kindness. Fill our school with love. Amen. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classroom with peace. Fill our lesson with fun. Fill our friendship with kindness. Fill our school with love. Amen. As I call your name, say present. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Joey. Melvin. Present teacher. Sean. Present teacher. Abby. Present teacher. Barbie. Guinea. Present teacher. We have Barbie and Joey as absent today. Let's have a beautiful clap for ourselves since you are present. One, One two, two, three, ganda! ganda! Before we start, always remember our classroom rules. First, listen when your teacher is talking. Second, raise your hand when you want to speak or have any concerns. And the last one, follow directions, be kind and honest. Do you understand? Yes, teacher! Very good! So, we have an activity here. Draw a happy face for praises that tell the rights of a Filipino child. <clears throat> Number one, right to leave the faucet open. Is it happy face or sad face? <clears throat> Number two, right to throw away leftover food. Three, right to enjoy nutritious food. Four, right to play table tennis. And the last one, right to use the bathroom. Very good! Class, last time we studied the different rights of the Filipino children, right? Yes, teacher! Can you name some different rights of the Filipino children enjoy? Right to have a name. Right to be safe. Right to grow healthy. Very good. How will you do your duties and responsibilities as a Filipino children to your family? In your community? How about in yourself? Respecting them, teacher. Teacher, help our community in any environmental activities. Stay away from dangers, teacher. And now, I have here a new words that we will encounter in our lesson. I will read first the word and its meaning, then you will going to repeat after me. Do we understand? Yes, teacher! Very good! Duties 
it implies an obligation or moral commitment which an individual is expected to perform. Duties. It implies an obligation or moral commitment which an individual is expected to perform. Obligation. It is something that someone is required to do so. Obligation. It is something that someone is required to do. Very good. Class, what can you see in the picture? The children are singing the national anthem picture. How about this one? One child is planting a tree and the other children are cleaning. Very good. Can you be like them? Yes, teacher. Very good. What is the difference between duties and obligations again? A duty is an obligation that a child must do, while an obligation is fulfilling one's duty and helping others perform their duties too. Very good. Let's have a ganda clap. One, two, three, ganda! As children, you have obligations and duties, right? Yes, teacher! Very good! Today, we are going to study about the different duties of Filipino children. Listen carefully, okay? Yes, teacher! Children should obey their parents, take care of the personal thing and other things at home, keep the body clean, keep things in place, return things that are borrowed, stay away from places that are not safe, be kind to pets, be home on time, ask permission before going home, wash hands before and after eating, pray before and after eating. Children should respect others, respect all people, respect other people, respect people in authority, respect parents, greet people politely, be polite in asking favor, offer help politely, ask questions politely. Children should share, share food with your classmates, share materials with other children. Share talents with your friends. Share knowledge with other children. Children should develop their talents. Dancing, singing, painting, playing games, drawing, playing musical instruments. A child who enjoys rights and privilege also has duties to perform at home, in a school, in the community, and in religious institutions. A duty is an obligation that a child must do. An obligation is fulfilling one's duty and helping others perform their duties too. Children should enjoy all their rights but they should also perform their duties diligently and faithfully. Class, do you think children should have duties when they are still young? Why? Yes, teacher. I think children should have duties when they are still young so that they will know what to do when they are growing up. Very good! How will you do your duties and responsibilities as a Filipino children to your family? In your community? Mm -hmm. How about in yourself? Respecting them, teacher! Teacher, help our community in any environmental activities. Stay away from dangers, teacher. 
Very good. All of your answers are correct. Let us respect everyone as they rule a good morals by doing their duties and responsibilities without others reminding them to do so. And now I have here an activity. Color the apple red if the sentence tells a good character. Color it green if it does not tell a good character. Number one, go to school on time. Is it red or green? Number two, fall in line and wait for your turn. Three, get the pencil of your classmate. Four, tear the page of books. And the last one, greet your teacher. And this is the second part. What should you do in the following situations? Encircle the letter of your answers. 1. You saw your classmate keep the money he found on the floor. A. Report him or her to the teacher. B. Tell him or her it is yours. C. Advise him or her to give it to the lost and found section. Number 2. It is your teacher's birthday. A. Greet him or her happy birthday. B. Give him or her a gift. Or C. Bring food for him or her. Number 3. Your teacher is explaining the lesson. What will you do? A. Sleep. B. Talk. Or C. Listen. 4. You are at the gate of the school. The children are singing the national anthem. A. Talk with the others who are also at the gate. B. Stop, put the right hand on your chest, and sing with them. Or C. Continue walking. Number 5. You saw your teacher carrying many things. A. Smile at him or her. Or B. Help him or her. And C. Ignore him or her. I have here an assignment activity sheet that you're going to answer in your home. Do you understand? Yes, teacher! Goodbye, class! Goodbye, teacher!